For best audio and video quality, select 720 PhD below. Hi, I'm Vespers. I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer and an electronic music producer. And I know a lot of us are producing right now on laptops with really small screens while we're on the road. And when editing your audio and MIDI, you really want to make sure you can clearly see your clips rather than squint at tiny objects. And this is also true even if you're using a larger monitor. It helps to be able to see a very clear overview of your track while you're doing edits. Unlike many programs that use detached windows that you can tab through, Live locks all of its browsers and its mixer in place. Now, this is great because you always know where everything is and you can see a good overview of the program, but when editing, this can really clutter up your screen unless there's a way that you can quickly declutter it. So when I'm sequencing or doing detailed edits, I like to hide as much of these browsers and editors as possible so I can focus my attention on the work at hand. I used to do this by clicking all the little show hide buttons, for example, to show hide the browser up here or to show hide detail view down here. But I've actually recently developed and discovered a series of keyboard shortcuts that can do this for me. So on the Mac, you would hold down Command and Option, or on the PC, you'd hold down Control and Alt. So the first one is to show and hide the browser. So on the Mac, which is the system I'm using, I hold down Command and Option and click B. That shows and hides the browser. Next, you can show and hide Detail View by pressing Command and Option and L. The next one is Overview Mode, which you can activate and deactivate by pressing Command and Option and O. The next one is Hiding the Mixer, which is Command and Option and M. The next one is Hiding and Showing the Returns Area, which is Command and Option and R. And the last one is hiding or showing the input output section by pressing command and option and I. Now you'll notice all of these commands share the prefix command and option on the Mac or control and alt on the PC. So if you want to really quickly max out your screen real estate, you can simply hold command and option and type in B, L, O, R, M, and I. And now immediately we have a very clear and spacious editing window, and we've hidden everything we can possibly hide here. So this is um, actually a topic that I discuss in my new free ebook that I've written on Ableton. This is one of 13 pro tips that I discuss in the ebook. If you want to check out the other ones, you can just pop back over to my website at www.vespers.ca and pop in your email address. And the ebook is a free download. It'll get emailed to you as soon as you pop in your email address and hit enter. So hope you've enjoyed this tip and the other tips that are in the Pro Secrets ebook and uh, look forward to chatting with you soon. Take care.